Hey, I'm Aaron with PRP Seats. Today we're gonna to be putting some of our GT3 seats in a Can-Am X3, and we're gonna be using our new lowering seat mounts. So in your Can-Am seat mount kit, you're gonna get two seat bases, two of the lowering seat bases. You're gonna get eight quarter inch by 20 by one inch long bolts, washers, and lock washers, and you're gonna use those in these holes to mount the seat to the plate. So the bottom of the PRP seat has quarter inch bolts, or quarter inch nuts welded on it, you're gonna use these quarter inch bolts. And then these are the metric bolts that are used to hold the plate down to the trolley system on the X3. These are gonna replace the stock bolts that you pull out of your seats. The stock ones are much longer than this. Since this plate's thinner than the seat, you don't need those, so you're gonna be, you're gonna be using these. So. You should be getting, like I said, eight, eight quarter inch bolts, eight lock washers, eight fender washers, and eight metric bolts in your kit. The tools you're gonna need is either an 18 inch end wrench to fit that back, the back four bolts, or an 18 inch deep socket with some extensions and a ratchet. And then you're gonna need a 13 inch, or 13 millimeter end wrench, and a 13 millimeter socket to do the front bolts. And you'll also use this 13 millimeter to remove the seat from the stock trolley. So not a lot of tools needed for the install. All right, so to pull your stock seats out, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter ratchet, 13 millimeter end wrench to get the two front bolts out. It's nice if you've got a power ratchet, if not, you know, anything work. And then for the rear, you need an 18 millimeter deep socket. I've got it on a, a small impact, but um, you, know, you, can, you can use whatever you've got. But it does need to be a deep 18 millimeter socket. So. Once you get the front out, release the mechanism, slide the seat forward, and undo the, undo the nuts in the back. with the mount attached. Now you see the trolley system is still attached here. We're gonna remove this trolley system now from the seat. So you flip your stock cushion up and you can see you get to the four bolts that hold the seat to the trolley system. Using that same 13 millimeter you used earlier. In order to get the stock seat slider out of the stock seat, you need to pull that rubber off and slide it out. So we removed the seat and it put the, the rails back in here so you can get an idea of the different adjustments that Can-Am gave you from the factory. You've obviously in the front here, you've got two mounting holes. You can mount this slider low in the front. You can mount it all the way high. Some guys are drilling a hole in the middle here. You can set it down about halfway if you want. So they've given you two options in the front, which would give it a little more recline, set it a little bit lower. And then in the back, they put this aluminum spacer here. So we now have it in the up position, where it's you would you know, screw that down. And that's the rear is in the high position. Pop this off, put that down, put your spacer back on. And now this is in the low position. So that'd be the low in the back, low in the front. When you're mounting PRP seats, what we have found to be the best, we feel is the best, is the low position in the front and the high position in the back, which would be just like this. When, when mounted like this, we found that our seat fits at the best angle matches the firewall, gets you far enough back away from the steering wheel, and uh, sits you at the proper driving angle. Low in the front, high in the back. So uh, all of the options that Can-Am has given you with putting the seat in the low position in the back, low position in the front, high position in the back, high in the front. You could also have a, a half a position here by changing this. You know, this, this clearance is in the low position. You could flip it up. Now mount your seat to it this way. It will raise you up an inch if, uh, if you're looking for somewhere in between 
this two inch adjustment. So if you're gonna put the stock trolley in the lowest position in the back, lowest position in the front, and the PRP mount in the lowest position, you are going to hit this plastic here and you're gonna limit your ability to slide this all the way back. As you can see this trolley system is gonna to have to be about four inches short of going all the way back in order to get this to not hit. Now you could possibly trim this plastic piece. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything behind here. <clears throat> you could possibly trim this to get this back farther. But um, what you're gonna wanna do is, is use our recommended mounting system configuration where it's in the low position in the front, the high position in the back, and then still have this in the dropped position. You can see this ends up with the proper angle that we like, uh, that we would recommend. It does still clearance the plastic. You can still get it in the all the way back position. So this is the mounting configuration that we recommend. Right here. Again, we recommend low in the front, high in the back. Again, when you slide this forward, you may end up having to trim the top of this to get the seat to come to the all the way forward position. But this is what we think is the best seating position. You can obviously do whatever works best for you. Before you bolt everything back down, the, the best way to do this is leave these, leave these loose, leave the trolleys loose. Set your, set your mount down here. Get your four screws that came in the kit, metric bolts. Get them all started, then go ahead and Tighten them up. And with it like that, just lift this whole system out. Now that you've taken that trolley system out with the plate mounted to it, you're gonna put it upside down on, or on top of your seat that's upside down. And you're gonna notice the plate lines up with these four holes. This is where you're gonna use the Quarter 20 bolts, PRP provided. Flat washer first, and your lock washer. And then I didn't mention this earlier, but you are gonna need a 7 16 either end wrench or socket to tighten these up. And now this is ready to go back in the car. So if the seat slid all the way forward, you can reach back here to tighten up these nuts and get them started and then get your 18 millimeter either in wrench or socket to, to, to tighten those down. And once you have that tight, slide the seat back so you can get to, you can get to the front rail bolts here. Kind of wiggle these around a little bit, get them lined up. Here we have, in this vehicle, we have put the extra wide seats in. You'll notice they are really tight on this stock rubber cover here. They're also really tight on the inside. You can see it's just, there's enough room to get the seat belt in between there, but it is, it's a really tight fit. So these are the one inch extra wide seats. Um, obviously chose standard, they'd be a half inch narrower all the way around. Um, but for guys like myself, this is definitely the way to go. When you purchase harnesses for your Can-Am X3, you're gonna wanna get shoulder clip-ins. So what that comes with is, is a, a clip-in tab on the shoulder. The shoulder belts from PRP are all made to where you can add any mount on the end here. It's a wrap around, you can make it wrap around the bar, you can get the bolt-in tab, or you can get the clip-in tab. Uh, either way, it's something you can add in at home on your own. You just unweave this, weave it back together. The advantage of the clip-in, the other part of the clip-in is they come with an eye bolt. So you can see we just bolted the eye bolt down to the same place where your stock shoulder harnesses were mounted. Depending on what version you have, you have the stock three-point, you don't have this at all. 
if you had uh, their, their four point belt, then you would have something mounted to these. So remove what's mounted, both these eyelets, and then you're simply just gonna clip your shoulder harnesses to the eyelets. The advantage here is when the seat's in the all the way back position, it, it can, they can now pivot up, down, depending on how you need it for your, for your seat. Um, but, but if you imagine if we did not have these, we would have this seat belt tab bolted onto here, sticking out about this far, and it's gonna jam into the back of your seat. You won't be able to get your seat all the way back. So clip-in is the way to go on a Can-Am X3.